Hi there. Thanks for joining CPG Bytes, a series of short video segments from Treasure Data, where we chat about the latest news and industry trends and read between the lines to provide our perspective and insights. So David, my friend, I heard some big brands are making big moves recently. What have you heard this week? Yeah, Stephen, it's great, it's great to see you again. So today's gonna be uh, footwear and apparel day. We're gonna talk about Nike a little, a little bit here. So, uh, and you know, of course, Nike, I think is a great, I mean, they're always doing wonderful things and I think ahead of the curve, but I think there's a lot of great lessons and best practices that other CPG companies can, can learn from some, some of their leadership activities. So, you know, the first thing I thought would be interesting to talk about is this, uh, this concept that they just kind of announced where they're getting into refurbishment, meaning customers can send back uh, footwear that's been gently used and then it'll get, uh, you know, basically cleaned up and then, and then resold. And so um, what, what I like about this is demand drivers for consumers have, have really changed and evolved over the last few years. And this whole concept of sustainability right, is becoming super, super important to Gen Zers and, and Millennials. Yeah. And so I think this is once again, Nike really understanding their consumers and understanding the need to participate in the idea of reduce, reuse, and recycle. And I talked about in this article that, you know, Nike is recycling, I think, 90 some percent of, of, of their materials and their production. And there's, they're, they're really jumped into this whole sustainability area with, with both feet. And I think that drives relevance for their, for their consumers. And, and I think it creates this halo effect around the brand. So great example of them understanding their consumer, using that data to then drive innovation around a new business model that, that they're deploying. Um, and it, it all, it's going to do is further that that strong relationship that they have with their consumers and, and strengthen their brand. Indeed. So that was the one article that caught my eye uh, recently. The other thing that this one's a little bit uh, a little bit more media, I guess, to some degree. So the headline here is that the Nike's analytics strategy now sits their data teams next to creative. So um, you know. You think about that. Well, what does that really mean? What, what that means is that that Nike is realizing that when from a from a marketing and a consumer engagement perspective, um, you need to have your data team because it, the the data that you have about your consumers is this super valuable asset, and so they're bringing those teams closer together, integrating them together, so that they can actually drive more value, more insights. And you see here, you know, this first sentence, Nike may put the consumer at the heart of, it, of its, all of its strategies, right? So it, it, they are really a very, very consumer centric uh, organization. What I think is kind of fascinating about this is, you know, throughout the article, I talk about these different acquisitions that they've made of, of data companies and, and whatnot. Um, so they're, they're, they're basically accumulating these, you know, these assets, if you will, these capabilities from, from a data perspective. What I find interesting though, is when I look at treasure data and, and we look at our more, the most successful customers that we have, what they've done is not only kind of integrated these teams together, but they've created a tech, they've used the treasure data CDP platform to integrate the teams together from a, from a data perspective and from a uh, insights perspective. So we, we like to think about there being three different constituencies or ecosystems um, associated with, um, you know, with the CDP. There's a data ecosystem, there's insights, and there's engagement. And our platform brings those all together. So um, from a structural standpoint, from a, from a team standpoint, a strategy standpoint, Nike's bringing the data and then creative or the engagement ecosystem together. Um, but I think it's really important to also have a technology platform that enables that. So it's not just about, you know, how you're, structuring your teams. It's also ensuring that you have the technology that underpins that to enable, you know, the, the people and the process. There's always that people process and technology, and they're all equally important, but you have to have that technology that enables that, that integration of, of your, in, in Nike's term, teams, we would call those ecosystems. Does that make sense? Yeah, that, that's actually a really good point because, you know, obviously the, 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 the title of this article is to bring 
um, the, 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 the strategy team next to the data teams, next to the creative teams, all coming together. Yeah, you can have physical um, departments working side by side, but they do need the data. They do need the same piece of, uh, of the hymn book, if you will, so they can all kind of sing off the same sheet. And it's important to have that, uh, have that data alignment because back to the first sentence um, of this article, data unlocks the value of consumers. And if, you're not, if you don't all share the same data, you can have this team sit next to each other, <laughs> but they, they won't be able to work in alignment, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, I, and I do think that it's easy, you know, we, we see this all the time. It's easy to get sort of fixated on the technology. It's kind of the shiny object, but, but you really need that the people and the process and the technology. And I think when we look at our, our customers, I think wh wh why they're getting so much value out of the treasure data CDD platform is because of the fact that that, that same platform, that same technology, because it's easy to use and, and it can be kind of owned by the business, if you will, um, you know, all those constituents, all those stakeholders, all those ecosystems as we call them, can operate off of that same that same song sheet as you call it. So yeah, no, that's that's so true. And and thank you for for that uh, insight, David. And thank you all for joining us. Uh, for more videos like this, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the bell for all notifications. And we will be back in two weeks with more topics for CPG bytes. See you soon.